हेलो एवरीवन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम न्यूमेरिकल्स बेस्ड ऑन विस्कोसिटी इंडेक्स नाउ इफ यू डोंट रिमेंबर व्हाट इज विस्कोसिटी इंडेक्स यू मे क्लिक ऑन द लिंक अ वीडियो वाज ऑलरेडी पोस्टेड ऑन माय चैनल व्हिच डिस्कस्ड व्हाट इज विस्कोसिटी ऑफ अ लुब्रिकेटिंग ऑयल देन व्हाट इज विस्कोसिटी इंडेक्स एंड हाउ डू वी कैलकुलेट द विस्कोसिटी यूजिंग दोज विस्कोमीटर्स सो टूडेज task would be to apply that knowledge and to solve some questions let's say such kind of question is given to you name the three viscometers help in calculating viscosity index viscosity index is calculated with the help of values of viscosity which you uh, calculate using viscometer so indirectly viscometer helps in calculating the viscosity index a uh, lubricating oil has same redwood viscosity of 75 seconds at 210 degree as that of standard naphthenic and paraffinic oils their viscosities are 100 degree fahrenheit uh, are 462 seconds 758 seconds and 452 seconds respectively find the viscosity index of oil so first you need to write the viscometers so the three viscometers which we use to calculate a uh, visco viscosity is redwood viscometer seibold viscometer and angular viscometer a detailed video on difference on these three types of viscometer is already posted so please watch that just to remind you that in redwood viscometer we again have two redwood number 1 and redwood number 2 viscometers and it was time taken by 50 ml of the oil to fall from an orifice that was noted here while in seibold viscometer time taken by 60 ml of oil to fall from an orifice and angular viscometer we uh, noted the time taken by around 100 ml of oil to fall and with relative uh, to that of water also it considered so as of now in this question they said that it's a redwood viscosity that means they have used redwood viscometer so it could have been seibold angular also so it does not matter now uh, you have to calculate the viscosities at two temperatures 100 degree fahrenheit and 210 degree fahrenheit then there is a low viscosity index oil uh, sample oil and high viscosity index oil which you call it as h you have to segregate the values here like at 100 degree what are the values uh, 758 then sample is giving you 462 and high is giving you 452 while at 210 their values will be same so this was also discussed in the previous video that we calculate it in seconds and we make sure that at one temperature their values are same so that you can compare them l viscosity index oil is a low viscosity index oil which means it's a low quality oil h viscosity index oil is a high quality oil and u is your sample oil which lies between somewhere low quality to high quality now how to find out the viscosity index is obviously using this equation which is viscosity index is equal to l minus u upon l minus h into 100 L obviously refers to this, but the value of hundred degree Fahrenheit you have to use. Obviously, we cannot use two hundred and ten because that is all same. So that does not make a sense if we use seventy five minus seventy five upon seventy five minus seventy five. So obviously, that value which is given at other temperature is of no use to you. It is just mentioned there in the question. What is useful is these three values. So you have to identify the value of L, U, and H, and then you have to substitute here, and you will get your answer. so very easily so that is how you're going to uh, solve the question so that is uh, it now let us go ahead with one more time like first what they are saying draw the mode of variation of viscosity with temperature of lu and h oil and then they have given you the values that uh, at 210 they have same value and at 100 degree uh, fahrenheit they have different different uh, time taken to fall right and you have to find the viscosity index so first you have to draw the mode so what is the mode we all know that viscosity varies with temperature inversely so when you increase the temperature you can see when you increase the temperature the viscosity falls right it falls in this pattern so uh, which one is a low quality oil obviously this one is a low quality oil l represents low viscosity index is a low quality oil why because it is rapidly uh, decreasing the viscosity of this oil is rapidly decreasing with respect to temperature 
while h is a high quality oil high viscosity index is given to it that means the variation is very less and u is your sample which lies under l and h sample under test is u so i hope with this you are able to understand that when you write viscosity index is l minus u upon l minus h into 100 l represents the low viscosity index oil so out of these three values what do you think which one is the lowest quality oil lowest quality oil means uh, major variation so i think 400 uh, is the highest variation like if here uh, the value at another temperature is not given right the, uh, this temperature they have given but this is not given and it does not matter because it is going to be same let's say uh, for example uh, we take it to like 50 right so what uh, is happening here uh, from 430 seconds it is falling to 50 seconds so obviously the highest variation then your sample uh, is obviously 320 it lies in between then l and minus h h is least variation so you may call it as like 400 something from here 300 something from here and 200 something from here so obviously the least variation is 200 to 50 so you will call it as an h oil uh, that is how you are going to find out what is n u and h and then once you solve this question you will be able to get the answer i hope you if you solve this you will get that uh, let's say 110 Uh, by 170 multiply by 100 so i think this will give you 64.7 so the main thing is here that it is it does not have any unit right it does not have any unit is basically a ranking a rating given to it so viscosity index is nothing but a rating given from 0 to 100 scale right so that means this uh, oil lies somewhere around 64.7 on this scale so if it is near to 100 you'll call it as high quality oil see this one 100 viscosity index if it is near to 0 you'll call it as a low viscosity index oil low quality oil and if it is low quality that means the variation is more why uh, it is low quality because if the variation of viscosity with temperature is more then it may not remain in the position like let's say if this is the layer right and uh, you have to apply a lubricant here the machine is sliding over each other so if it is moving like this and inside you have applied lubricant now if there is temperature increase due to friction and the viscosity of this oil varies rapidly it will uh, decrease and because of uh, it becomes thin it will come out of the place so it will not serve the purpose of a good lubricant that is why we say that the variation should be least and that is why we call that oil as h or high viscosity index oil coming to one more type of the question uh, now they say that th this is angular viscosity so i hope it does not matter now to you right uh, you can use red good sebald angular but then uh, we come to know that here the readings are taken using 100 ml not 50 ml as was in the case of red good of 123 seconds at 210 and 610 seconds at 100 degree now if you read the question properly they say that the high and low viscosity standard oils are having these values so uh, it is like mentioned in the question like what is l and what is h here so i think uh, you can easily find out this is l because it's respectively so 758 minus what 610 which is your sample under test so 758 minus 420 and that you multiply with 100 so i hope uh, it's 148 and then if i divide uh, this i'll get 338 right and then if i multiply it with 100 i'll get my value which is 43.7 this is how you are supposed to calculate the viscosity index and again there will be no unit though we mentioned there here seconds the viscosity we measured in terms of seconds but then at the end it does not have any unit it is just a rating a scale right so let us go ahead with one more question uh, the lubricating oil has same viscosities and find the viscosity index of oil and then comment on the quality of sample oil based on the value of viscosity index so obviously again you are going to find out l minus u upon l minus h in 200 uh, i'll ask you to solve this along with me what is l low quality oil low quality means highest variation what do you think which oil is showing highest variation this one so you will write 590 
then sample under test under test sample is always in between l and h between the two standards right so 590 is the lowest one what is the highest one 415 so that is the highest one and then you multiply it with 100 i think uh, you'll get the answer uh, let's say well, what is the answer yeah it's 96 so if you solve this it's 96 now you have to comment on the quality of sample oil also so how are you going to comment obviously you are going to note the viscosity index now tell me what do you think it's a high quality oil or it's a low quality oil on this scale of 0 to 100 this lies near to 100 that means the quality is good and it is high viscosity index oil so the lubricating oil is of good quality because the variation is very less right coming to one more question so here what they say it's a sebald viscosity right and uh, you just read the question they say pani sylvanian oil has uh, this gulf oil has this find out the viscosity index obviously you're going to use the same formula right l minus u l minus h into 100 now you have to identify l now sometimes what happens is we don't remember what is penisylvanian oil right uh, what is gulf oil one is paraffinic base one is naphthanic base so one is low viscosity index oil one is high viscosity index oil but how are you going to find out uh, if even if you don't remember this now that uh, Pennsylvanian oil is high viscosity index and Gulf oil is low viscosity index what you can do focus on the values right focus on the values because rest all the values are same right at 209 it would be same what matters is this so 780 minus 580 and that would be 780 minus 430 and that you have to multiply by 100 so I think 200 uh, by 350 in 200 uh, what would be the answer uh, the answer would be 57.4 so if you solve it in the similar manner you will get the same answer so I hope with that you are able to understand that the formula is the same you just have to identify the values first what is L, H and U if you are correct you are done with it so the major thing lies on the identification of these values these values uh, should be correct and then at the end you can mention the uh, values of viscosity index so i think uh, with that you are able to understand the concept too well uh, if you want to go in theory uh, just do watch the video of viscosity and viscosity index and i hope you are able to solve the questions based on viscosity index now if the video is helpful to you please do mention in the comment and uh, like the video thank you so much